It's really easy once you start going down these paths of um, seeking out where things went wrong, trying to understand what happened to us. It's really easy to get caught up in um, different areas because that's what we—that's what we do as people. I mean, notice anything, you know. Let's say you get really into anything, no matter what it is, you know, whatever your interest is, you're going to see that all over the place, right? Instead of understanding and taking the belief systems out of it. I'm walking that middle path, which is the Christ, or is the path that Christ showed us to walk. If anybody cares to pay attention to that. So many people don't. You're just so stuck on left and right, which is the whole purpose of the Old Testament and New Testament anyway. It's bigger than you think. There's more code in that book than you think there is. <laughs> it's all showing you something very real, very hardcore, very serious about um, the way everything works as a whole. And once you start to see, you start to see it very clearly. But walking that middle path you start to to realize that and and see very easily how everything um is so messed up by these the whole world is messed up by these you see and we have a pupil in the middle right because we're the student but the eye is the student learning but you have nothing if you don't have the light within yourself to interpret what you see on the outside. You're always going to be stuck on the black and white. See, we were broken a long time ago. We were broken a long time ago. That broken bell, that broken liberty bell. There has indeed been a war in heaven and therefore a war on us. A war within us, a war on the outside of us. But we don't make peace anywhere in the world until we have that peace within us. That's why it's the goal, it needs to be the goal of all of us to have that peace within you, to understand that you're never gonna find that outside of yourself. You can look and look and look and you won't, and you won't and you won't. That's why waking up is the scariest thing to do, because you have to go inside of yourself <clears throat> and see how dark it really is in there. It's nothing but darkness. That is what the sunglasses represent. When you see that, call it the Illuminati, call it what you will, but it's a symbolism that they can see, and you can't. And so they wear the sunglasses to show you they're not looking out to the outward light, they're looking inside. They're looking inside to see the dark side of the moon, where they control everything by. But see, you're wrong to always think that everything is black and white. Only those that wish to control you want you to see everything as black and white. Black and white is being on one side or the other. That's being black or white. Looking at the flip of the poles and how that affects us is the dark and the light. The dark and the light. Always being on the side of religion or science. Religion or science. I'm not saying that the path goes down the middle. The path of faith. Which is something that I believe in fully and completely and totally and entirely. Because me, myself, I do know. I do remember a time before this world and I know that there's definitely going to be a time after this world. That's just something I know with all my heart and all my soul that I know that we've been divided as humanity that we are humankind that we were divided as man and woman that was never supposed to be that way that we've been fractalized just like the world's been fractalized you know old heaven and earth, there's to be a new heaven and a new earth. Why, do you think that has something to do with your eyes? No way. 
something very real that's going to happen. Something very real that's going to happen. And to understand that is to understand what has happened, you know? You can't understand any of that if you're still on that black and white path of seeing things as um, purely good and purely evil. Any with spirit know how to govern themselves, know how to govern from that middle path. You know? Like I've said in, in so many of my past videos, and I'll keep saying, it's, uh, it's about that we don't need anybody once we're at that point to teach us law. Why? Because we have that inside of us. Watch a little child, you know, that hasn't been screwed up already by somebody that was screwed up before him, because that's all it is. You know, a world that doesn't know how to love, doesn't know how to love, because if we know how to love, we're giving that child that one thing that they need, and therefore they will always govern by it. I screw up all day long, mess up all the time, doesn't mean we turn back around and try to make things right. <laughs>